Looks good. Yeah, it's great. I mean, okay. it's definitely there. Okay. Um, yeah, totally. Cool. Now section number two. Now we need to get one of those. This guy comes up to about here on the, I mean, it could go up to a, all, all the way up to here, but actually. They look pretty even. It's a little bit taller. Yeah, let's bring it down a bit. Still gonna have the same number of uprights on the electronic screen, right? Upright close. The way we usually do. I like that. There's just something about two tiers. It just yeah, it is. It, it is. just looks beefy, you know. Yeah, totally. Do you want this thing to be put all the way down and to be at oh, the height, oh, exact oh. height that you want it? I don't. I don't care if it's all the way down or not. It would honestly be kind of nice to be able to have a little bit of wiggle room to go up and down, okay. depending on what. Hmm. You might be able to eliminate this guy altogether on this one, because if the telescoping thing is going to be there, this can wrap around it and go right here. Here. But then this part is three to four inches lower than what it is. Cool. And you but have the ability can... to go up like another 15 inches. Cool. That's amazing. Is that good? Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. That's... Well, that thing can definitely go a little bit farther this way. You God, can... you're so demanding. <laughs> Could be. It's definitely, oh, definitely not too short. I mean, if you can go down to, oh, I imagine, yeah, yeah. maybe even a little bit shorter than that. So that's great. Perfect. Okay, good. Cool. Now we've got your Nintendo controller. Right, and there's a, it goes on top of it, it's a joystick, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Joystick, okay. Yeah, which we have the clamp for. Uh, the only issue is that I do want it to be flat, like this. You see what I mean? Okay. Like, and, well, whatever, it's not tight right now, but you know what I mean, so that this is <laughs> flat here. How's the height on that? It's wonderful. Yeah, and again, that could, you know, it can come quite a ways in. Like, I mean, I guess that way. Oh, that yeah, way, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Not that you need to do that now. We'll be able to adjust it when it's time. It's cool. Cool. Problem solved. So, dude, we finished. It's done. It's done. And um, it looks very similar to what you had to start with, but it's different. We kept everything in the exact same place, we just uh, organized it a little bit differently. We added the, uh, the mic extender and uh, we got a little monitor mount for you right here. Originally, um, he had a bunch of multi-clamps holding uh, some L-rods and so I replaced it with some rack multi-clamps and some, we had some boom arms as opposed to just boom rods. I think it's uh, infinitely more reinforced than it was, starting with the, the second crossbar. Yeah, we had to do that to make sure, you know, that nothing were to fall or any of the legs tweak. Well, I mean, the reinforced rack, I think, helps uh, more than anything with the amount of movement that we have to do with the rack, you know. We move it on and off stage and we have quick changeovers and, you know, play a lot of festivals and, and, and even club shows and whatnot. And, and just moving it around all the time, uh, you know, uh, especially when you have stage hands moving it for you and stuff like that, you know. It, it's inevitable that things end up getting a little tweaked. Well, you said that sometimes you actually just leave your gear set up on yeah. <laughs> on the racks and then just put them on the truck that way, right? Yeah, well, and at, uh, during South by Southwest last year, we had enough shows in a short period of time. It was like five shows in two days or something like that. Yikes. Um, and so, so, yeah, we literally just took the racks, uh, you know, took all of our uh, hardware cases and Pelicans and everything, stuffed those in our hotel, and then... Uh, 
literally just tied these uh, in the back of uh, our spritter and drove into shows, rolled it out on a ramp, went straight into the show, played the show, rolled it back right into the car and uh, drove on to the next show. I mean, certainly having it all in these, these self-continued has made my life uh, a lot easier. You know, it's, um, besides change over time, it, it's, it's created a, a real sense of consistency between each performance for me, you know. Everything's set up exactly the same way, and, and I think even more so now that, uh, that we've reinforced it, I think it'll be even more consistent, um, you know, and just have, because there's, you know, there's not much room for error anymore, which is, which is great. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, taking these out on the road in a couple days, actually. I mean, tomorrow, and then we'll be fine with them, so we'll see. <laughs> Robert. I, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's been a pleasure working with you again, man. Hey, thanks they, so much. Thanks for coming out. Totally. And, um, dude, I'll be looking forward to seeing these out on the road. Yeah, totally. See you at Coachella. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>